Hi, first grade friends. We are going to now start our snakes in the grass paper weaving project by painting our two papers to get them ready for weaving next week. So to begin, I'm going to get two different sizes of paper. So my first one is 9 by 12, so that's my bigger piece, and my smaller piece is 9 by 10. On my smaller paper is where I'm going to be doing my green grass painting, and on my larger one is where I'm going to get my snakes ready. So I want to write my name on the back of both so that when I am done painting and I put them on the drying rack, I can figure out which ones are mine. So name on the back of both, then I'm going to start by painting my green grass paper first. So I'm going to put it on placemat and do you see how this side is longer than this side? So you want your paper horizontal so that the long side is on the top. And we are going to take tempera paint. You've got green, white, and yellow so we can make some different shades of green. Because if you look at grass outside, it is not all the same color. There's all different shades of green. I'm, only, I'm then going to take a large flat brush and use that to make my grass. And since grass grows up and down vertical, I'm going to make my brush strokes go up and down when I'm doing my paint. So I can kind of mix these. I might just want to start with some green. And again, all my brush strokes brush strokes are going up and down vertical. All right, so I'm laying down some green and then maybe I wash my brush and get some yellow. I can wash my brush again and then mix a little bit of white in to get some lighter shades of green, some tints. All right, and I think I'll finish up by going back in with a little bit more green. You want to make sure you paint the whole paper, so it's okay to go on your placemat to get the edges painted too. All And once I've got my grass paper painted, with two hands I'm walking this over to the drying rack. And I can then start my larger paper, which is where I'm just going to paint different stripes of color. And then when it's dry, I'll be drawing snakes onto it and cutting them out for our weaving. But to get it ready, and again I have my name on the back of here as well, we're going to then take our primary colors. Raise your hand if you know those three. So we've got yellow, red, and blue. And if I want to create secondary colors, can I mix them? I sure can. So I'm going to take my brush, make sure it's clean. I've got all that color out of it from the snakes. And pick one color to start with. So maybe I start with yellow. And we're going to go across our paper this way this time. So we are going vertical up down on our grass. For the snake paper, we're going to go left, right, horizontal. So I'm going to lay down some yellow, and then maybe I'll add another color to mix a secondary. Okay, so now if I get some red, and I put that here, I can blend it to make what color? A little bit of orange in the middle. And then I can wash my brush and do some of the other colors. I can try to make green or purple, but you don't need to make 
every color. It's your choice. We just want a few different ones so that when we draw the snakes on top, they can be different colors. When I mix my blue with the orange, it creates brown in the middle here, and that's okay. Snakes could be all different colors. Ooh, and now I'm making some green with my blue and yellow. purple with red and blue. All right, but however you paint this, you want to make sure you're going left to right with horizontal lines so that it's different from our first one. When you're done, you're going to put this one on the drying rack, and then we're going to let these dry for next week when we can finish this. All right, ready to get started? Let's do it.